Patriots, welcome to Rex Pine TV. I'm Bonnie O'Sun. Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. I, I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. And now for our school mission statement. We the Patriots achieve greatness through high expectations, passion, and perseverance. Thank you. You may now be seated. Today is Tuesday, April 12th, 2021. Let's go to Randy to see what's happening today in history. Thank you, Bonnie. Today in history on April 13th, 1976, the U.S. issued the $2 bill portrait of Thomas Jefferson on the front and John Trumbo's portrait of the Declaration on the back. Banks experience long queues by those collectors who believe the bill would appreciate or grow in value. According to the old currency values, a $2 bill from the 1976 has a value of $2 to $75, depending on the condition and particular features. As a result of banking policies with businesses, which have resulted in low production numbers due to lack of use, $2 bills do not circulate as well as other denominations of U.S. currency. Now let's go to Scott for the sports highlights. Thank you, Randy. Today's sports highlights are brought to you by the Patriots. Dan Schoenthal has Parkinson's disease, which is a neurological disorder that affects people's ability to move. On advice from his doctor to keep his body moving, Dan took it to the extreme and decided to hike the Appalachian Mountain Trail. The trail is the longest hiking-only footpath in the entire world, covering 14 states and 2,200 miles from Georgia all the way to Maine. Dan began last summer, paused for the winter period, and has already finished 400 miles, inspiring thousands of walkers along his journey. World Parkinson's Day was last Sunday, April 11th. Now let's go to Noah for the lunch report. Thank you, Scott. Today's lunch is Santa Fe chicken, cornbread, broccoli, diced peaches, and milk. Bon appetit! Now let's go back to Bonnie. Thank you, Noah. Scholars, let's take a moment to celebrate all of our honor roll students. Congratulate your friends that earned honor roll when you see them. Patriots, the yearbook is currently on sale. Get your yearbook today for just $30. All yearbook purchases must be made through myschoolbox.com. Also, tomorrow, Wednesday, April 14th from 4 p.m. through 9 p.m. is our next family night fundraiser. Head out with your family to enjoy some awesome food at Panda Express while also helping out our amazing school. You can order it online or bring it in person, the paper flyer, or show it on your phone for 20% of your order donated to the school. And finally, this month we will show that we are FSA ready. Every day we will have an activity that is FSA related. Today in class, share out what you will eat for breakfast on testing day. 
Remember, a good breakfast on a testing day goes a long way. Now let's see what the weather's going to be like today with David. Thank you, Vonnie. Today's weather in Pembroke Pines, Florida is forecast to be 87 degrees Fahrenheit and sunny. Looks like a sunny day, so let's enjoy the beautiful sun. Now let's go to Samuel for the joke of the day. Thank you, D. And here's the joke of the day. What do you call a can opener that can't open any cans? A can opener. Now let's go to Samuel for today's birthday. Thanks, Samuel. That was another great joke. Today's birthday boys are Abdulworth Oladell and Mari Victor. Happy birthday! Let's go back to Bonnie. Thank you, Sonia. Patriots, don't forget to pass expectations are represents. Present yourself positively, act kindly towards others, treat the school's environment respectfully, and succeed at everything. Congrats to Miss Miguel, Miss Moraz, Miss Hendrickson, Miss Newton, Miss Dry, Miss Manelia, Miss Kane, Miss Barrow, Miss Velez, Miss Calabrese, Miss Ian Dinqua, Miss Manan, and Miss Solano. You all had the correct answer to yesterday's riddle, which was, imagine you're trapped in a room, there are no doors, no windows, and it seems no way to escape. How do you get out? The correct answer to the riddle was, stop imagining. Now for today's riddle. A man stands on one side of a river, his dog on the other. The man calls to, to his dog, who immediately crosses the river without getting wet and without using the bridge or a boat. How did the dog do it? Again, a man stands on one side of the river, his dog on the other side. The man calls to his dog, who immediately crosses the river without getting wet and using a bridge or a boat. How did the dog do it? Teachers, please send your answers to pines at renaissance at gmail.com before 10 a.m. in order for a response to be reviewed. Winners will be announced the following day. Everyone at RPU TV would like to wish you all a terrific Tuesday. And don't forget, remember, reunite, rise. Have a great day.